Lincoln, have you heard of number 22 in Iowa? What's her name again? Is that the, the really short one? Or, or I don't remember. Oh, Who gosh, are this that's going to bug me. Yeah. Who are this year's March Madness breakout stars? On this week's Saturday edition of Walter Woods Basketball, we'll answer that question and more. Ogumba Wallet for the win. You are locked on women's basketball. Your daily podcast on women's basketball. Welcome. You are locked on women's basketball. Thanks for making us your first listen every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's $200 if your bet wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. My name is Hunter Cruz. I'm your Saturday host covering the WBA draft and prospect scouting. I'm joined by my host, M. Adler. Nope, nope, nope. M is not here. Nope, M is not here, but we do have Lincoln here, and this is going to be a very unhinged episode. We are going to be talking about, to open this up, Isaiah James, the number one breakout star of March Madness so far. Isaiah had 29 points and 5 assists on 8 of 14 shooting, 3 of 5 from 3, and 10 of 11 from the line. 25 of those points came in the second half. And according to her stats, she is the first player with 29 points, 5 assists, and on less than 15 field goal attempts, or equal to or less than 15 field goal attempts, in an NCAA tournament game since Sabrina Unescu in 2018. She's also the first player since Courtney Vandersloot in 2011 to meet those thresholds in a Sweet 16 game or later. Very good start to her tournament so far. What has stood out to you with, with her game? Yeah, the issue that um, was kind of... Uh, easy to foresee was that Tennessee and Stanford both lack people who can defend quick guards. Uh, and NC State was just kind of a terrible matchup for them in that regard. Sanaya Rivers, Isaiah James, and Zoe Brooks are all so athletic. They're so quick off the bounce. Um, and it's unsurprising to see that in uh, games where the other team doesn't have anybody who can hang with her quickness, that Isaiah James is just getting to the free throw line at will. Um, Cam Brink obviously fouled out of that game pretty early, and uh, a big reason for that is Isaiah James getting to the getting to the rack. Yeah, for me, the biggest thing with her, I think, was just the creative way she finds to get into her mid range pull up as well. She has a really nice step yeah. back, hezzy dribble, getting downhill. Um, like 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 you mentioned pre pod, she took like what twenty free throw attempts as a freshman. And now that's like a major part of her game. She took 11 free throw attempts in this game. She's so shift shifty, getting downhill. As a prospect, though, do you think she has like pro potential here? I know she's like five foot nine, a little bit undersized for a two, but where are you at on her game from that standpoint? Yeah, I'd I'd probably have to see her consistently shoot it a little better from outside. Um, the quickness, the rim attempts is great. Um, yeah, the defense is is fine. Um, She's got a really solid defensive in- infrastructure around her with someone like Sanaya Rivers, who's one of my favorite defenders in all of college basketball. But yeah, you just, with a player like Isaiah James, you're really looking for catch and shoot three pointers to come along for some utility to show up off the ball. She can get downhill, she can score at the rim, she can get into that mid range pull up, but I just, I just need some sort of off ball utility uh, that more than she's shown to this point. Yeah, she's at 30%, I believe, on spot-up jumpers. She's also not a one. There was some fun passing flashes in the Tennessee game, but obviously Mm -hmm. not a one. She's more of just a passer, gets downhill, can make some fun passes there. But with Isaiah James, it sparked a question for us. Who is on our all-lefty team? You want to start this off? Very interesting question. Yeah, obviously the the first pick in the all-lefty team draft is Angel Reese, the one of the best bigs in college basketball. She just grabs rebounds like nobody's business. She will dominate our interior. She can run the five. Uh, and we're probably going to end up spreading spreading it out around her and just playing kind of a four out one in with this team. Um, my next pick, someone that I've seen play in person several times that is just 
a, a matchup nightmare with her size and her shooting ability is Morgan Molly at Creighton. She really can get up threes at six one, six two, and she's a, a crafty scorer in the mid post area. Just a hustle. She she loves hustling. She's always running and getting into open shots. She's coming off screens. She's cutting and just playing at a uh, hundred miles an hour. Yeah, we got Angel at center here. The great anchor great of this team. Uh, we're set up well. Really high, really high floor raiser there. We also mm-hmm. have a super fun bench player. We have it's Lily Hansford, the funkiest shot in the tournament. I think <laughs> it goes in. It goes. It in. goes in. It goes in. Who else we have on our team? And then you can really put together a, a super quick backcourt with Isaiah James and um, UCLA's London Jones, who's a little on the smaller side, but she shoots threes a lot and at a pretty high percentage. Um, she's a, a really fun microwave scorer. And then to round out the starting five, um, getting onto the, the wing position is Jakia Brown-Turner, the NC State transfer that's at Maryland now. She's just a, a solid player who's been around college basketball forever. She's just gonna lock down our wing for us, um, and then you need some scoring off the bench, of course. So, um, our looks there, uh, Zakiah Franklin at Kansas is a, a, a really fun scorer. She shot the absolute leather off the ball last year in her fourth year at Kansas. Um, the shooting came down a little bit, but she's still a very good scorer. And I think you should take the last player on our on, in our rotation here. Yeah, Olivia Pollard at at San Santa Clara, one of the most insane shooting profiles in the country. She takes almost all, all three pointers at like six foot four, six three, six four, and she makes like over forty percent. Takes a ton of attempts. She's on our bench. We're gonna be spacing it, spacing it out. Let shoot with our bench. We might as well just let Angel run point guard. Like, <laughs> hey, I mean it could work. Yeah, it could just it could put work. Angel out there with. Molly, London Jones, Zakiya Franklin, and Olivia Pollard, and shoot like 22 threes per 100 possessions. It's a great idea. Post-ups and threes. That's what we're doing here. This is a second weekend team, I think. This is... <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Either yeah. going to get knocked out in the first round, makes no threes, or goes to the national championship. Yeah, a 12 of 19 three-point shooting game, and then you just beat everyone by 22. Yeah. This is this is a plausibly elite eight level team. Do we know any coaches that are left handed? That would be a, a big part of it. Any coaches that are left handed? None of the none of the former players that I can think of are lefties. Yeah, I don't think any of the former players are. Hmm. Well, it's tough. I guess you'll have to coach the team. I guess I'll be coaching this team. But after the break, yeah. we'll talk about Duke's Reagan Richardson, and we'll also talk about some other quick hitters as well. Passion, drive, and patience, what brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has has got it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guarantee Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay Guarantee Fit is only available to U.S. customers. Are you watching ESPN on your TV all day? I know I am. Have to have to turn down the volume with all the shouting. Make the switch to Locked On Sports today. A free 24-7 sports streaming channel is programmed for you every day to bring you the biggest stories with all the screaming. Locked On Sports today brings you brings you can't miss analysis, opinions, and news. Streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Reagan Richardson at Duke has Duke in the second weekend after upsetting Ohio State. She had 28.7 rebounds and three steals on 11 of 18 field goals shooting and three of three from three against Ohio State. She also had 25 points and seven rebounds on 10 of 18 shooting and two of five from three in the first round against Richmond. For you, Lincoln, 
What has impressed you with Reagan Richardson's game? Yeah, Reagan Richardson is a, a very fun basketball player. She plays for Duke. That means she plays great defense. Um, mm-hmm. She's had these really intriguing shot-making flashes over the last couple of years at Duke, um, and you're just kind of waiting for it to all come together. Um, she did improve her shooting efficiency this year, uh, shooting a, a 44% from the field instead of 42% from the field last year. But, you know, she's really just turned up the shot-making in the tournament. She loves getting to like a 13, 14 foot baseline pull up. Uh, from my very quick research, she's made six of seven on those baseline pull ups in their two tournament games so far. Um, and also, uh, making all your threes helps too. <laughs> you know, she's, she's a good scorer, but this kind of pull up shooting, I don't know if I've ever seen this level of pull up shooting from her before. No, oh, no. And it's similar case with Isaiah James as far as their pro prospects she's also like a 30 percent shooter on spot ups and if you're a pull-up shooter at the two and you can't really shoot on spot ups it makes it tough to kind of project that but there's interesting stuff there if she makes it all come together are there any other players that you would you'd want to highlight here as well yeah um got to give a shout out to DeAsia Fair who jumped up to third all time in uh the NCAA division one scoring list for women uh she's just a bucket getter the purest of bucket getters it's like five five she's just getting the mid-range pull-ups over five eight and five ten five eleven six two defenders you know um she's she's been a huge part of uh the resurgence of syracuse with Felicia legit jack this year just an amazing player really fun basketball player she gets a lot of steals playing in that zone uh jumping passing lanes just just a a really really pure fun bucket getter uh and in terms of pure fun bucket getters rakia jackson also had one of her best scoring games of the year um against nc state um it it became clear quite quickly that um nothing that mimi collins or madison hayes could do was really going to bother rakia in terms of Mm -hmm. getting to her pull up getting to the, the mid-range pull-ups that she's taking, um, you really have to get into her handle before she can even gather the ball to shoot, which is something that NC State really struggled with for the first three quarters of that game. Uh, Rikia finished with 33 points and 10 rebounds. Just a, a very, very solid shooting performance. She's also shown in, not in the NCAA tournament as much as in that uh, last SEC tournament game against South Carolina, that she can make an impact on the game without the shot going in as much. Um, that's something that I'm looking for a little more consistently for her at the next level, but she's shown repeatedly, consistently, and uh, in every kind of situation that Rikia is going to put the ball into the hoop at a pretty high rate. Yeah, two players for me. Uh, you and M both talked about her ad nauseum in a previous episode, but I haven't really watched much of her yet, and that's JJ Quinterly. She is fun like you're talking about elite defense super athletic uh just a lot of never stops moving never stops moving super fun player there um she was she was she was someone that i need to watch more of and we'll be talking about her more with our best prospects in the college in college basketball ranking as well another player for me is tamia gardner out of oregon state there's not many six three players that shoot as well as she does almost all spot ups pretty much besides one attempt, all spot up, shooting 40% on spot ups. She was a former top five to 10 recruit in the country, and she's really taken off this year. And uh, she's someone that we've both been impressed by. She was really impressive on defense against Nebraska, but Mm -hmm. it was also against Nebraska, and they don't have great post scores. So (laughs) what have you seen from her? Yeah, even if the defense um, is not always at that level, she's got really good instincts. Um, she hit a bunch of those little mid-range shots against Notre Dame in the first half. And mm-hmm. she's going to shoot about five threes a game and hit two of them every game. And that is an extremely valuable skill set to have in somebody who's, you know, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, she's grabbing almost six rebounds a game, which is – you're not going to see that many players who are shooting five threes a game and grabbing six rebounds a game, especially not shooting them at that rate. Um, she stepped up 
when Reagan Beers broke her nose and had to sit out a couple games. She's managed to move into the starting lineup um, for the last stretch of Oregon State's season despite coming off the bench for the first, you know, 20, 25 games. Uh, she's just been a really a really fun shooter and a, a fun player to keep an eye on moving forward. Yeah, agreed. Sonia Citron at Notre Dame is also another player to highlight. 22 points, 7 rebounds, mm-hmm. playing all 40 minutes against Oregon State in a loss. What have you seen from her in this tournament? Sonia Citron is another of my favorite defenders in the country. She's just so solid. Um, she's not going to put up the gaudy steal numbers that, you know, mm-hmm. her teammate Hannah Doggo puts up, but she is their go-to wing stopper. She'll take on just about any matchup two through four. She's six one. She's got great size at the wing position. Uh, and she's going to shoot 36, 37% on a solid volume of threes. Last year, when Olivia Miles went down, she showed some ability to take on some on-ball usage uh, and scale her role to a bit more offense to do a bit more offensively, and showed a lot in that time. And she's just a really solid, connective player—the kind of player that you need on a championship-winning team. Yeah. So after the break, we'll close out today's episode by creating the ultimate 2024 draft prospect with individual skills from players. Are you the kind of driver that likes to push things a little further? Ever wonder what adventure could be around the corner? Our friends at Nissan have a lineup of SUVs with the capabilities to take your adventure to the next level. The 2022 Nissan Rogue is perfect for city drives and great landscapes. Class-exclusive Google built-in is always up- updating Assistant to call on for almost anything. Gone are the days of connecting your phone. Google Assistant, Google Maps, and Google Play Store are built right into the 12.3-inch HD touchscreen system the 2020 new nation nissan, nissan Rogue is the perfect and mid-size crossover for your next adventure nissan's incredible lineup also includes a 2024 2024 nissan pathfinder it has room up to eight and expensive cardio capacity expansive cardio capacity and advanced available for four by four capabilities with 284 horsepower and up to 6,000 pounds towing when adventure calls the pathfinder is there to answer take the nissan Rogue. Nissan Pathfinder or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Shop NissanUSA.com. Fire TV is your destination for sports. From live games to highlights to in-depth analysis, Fire TV offers amazing viewing experiences and smart TVs as well as the Fire TV stick that you can plug into your existing TV that provides access to millions of movies and TV episodes as well as free and live TV whether it's opening weekend for baseball or with a college basketball tournament, you're going to want to have a Fire TV. Fire TV recently created Fire TV channels to deliver a constant supply of the latest videos from your favorite sports brands all for free. That includes all of us at Locked On and most of the big pro leagues and college conferences as well. Fire TV channels let you dive into all of the game analysis, highlights, and more. You can keep up with March Madness, NBA, MLB, and a lot more. Not to mention great news, entertainment, gaming, travel, cooking videos as well. Check out Fire TV channels on Fire TV and Alexa devices. If you haven't checked out Fire TV channels, you should trust me on this. To learn more, visit www.amazon.com slash locked on Fire TV. Welcome back. To close out today's episode, we're going to have a fun, fun mini game for y'all. Our goal is to see who can build the ultimate draft prospect with individual skills our one rule is that you can't use the same player more than twice so for example if one of if one of us picks caitlin clark's pull-up shooting another person can't pick caitlin clark for her passing ability so we'll go back and forth here for you lincoln who do you have for your athletic profile pick uh for my athletic profile i'm gonna go with uh 19 year old french guard Leila lacan She's 5'11", almost 6 foot. She has incredible movement skills. Uh, she's just such a smooth and polished athlete for her age and for her um, basketball profile. She moves so well on the court, and it's it's really fun to watch. And I think she has a lot of room to grow in that if she, as she, you know, uh, becomes a higher level pro athlete and uh, grows over the age of 20. Yeah, you took... You took my pick here for a different spot, so I took Angel Reese, 
one of the best athletes in college basketball. Um, it was kind of an easy pick for me here. Who do you have? Yeah, for Angel is, Angel's a great pick there. Um, my passing, my feel, my vision is, to me, one of the best passers in basketball, period, and that's Charlize Ledger-Walker from Washington State. She is she throws incredible hit-ahead passes in transition. She uh, will find passes that you don't really see there. Um, her interior playmaking made Bella Miracatete look so much better through Pac-12 play last year. Um, and she kind of carried that team to that Cinderella Pac-12 tournament run last year. She's one of the best passers I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, for me, I have Carla Leite, French guard. Um, Charlize was the was my pick here, but I think Carla was my second player, elite passer. She runs so much pick and roll, elite at getting downhill, opening passing windows and shooting pockets for her teammates. But yeah, I think probably the second best passer in the class, if you want to consider. Maybe Paige is up there as well. No, I'm not Paige. Uh, Caitlin's up there as well, but Paige was as well before reclassifying. Yeah. <clears throat> For pull-up shooting, though, I have the obvious pick here, Caitlin Clark. Pretty mm-hmm. self-explanatory. Yeah, we've all watched her play basketball. We know what that looks like and how it works. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which left me with a, a slightly more difficult pick. Um, I ended up going with Georgia Amore, who's just – she's so good at creating space mm-hmm. off of the dribble, uh, the step-backs, the pull-ups, the – sidesteps she's so good at finding ways to get her shot off we don't know for 100 percent certain that georgia amor is going to be in this draft um she posted a cryptic instagram message saying that thanks to all the fans in blacksburg and for four years of virginia tech obviously her college coach and very good friend kenny brooks is going to be the new, next coach at the university of kentucky you know georgia could end up in Kentucky, or I'd rather she ended up in, like, a Washington Mystics uniform. Um, But she's a very good pull-up shooter and so good at creating space. What about an L.A. Sparks uniform? That could be fun, too. They need point guards. They do, indeed. They need a lot of things. Yeah, so for me, (laughs) off-ball shooting, I have Hannah Jump. The shooting definitely went down a little bit this year, but we all know one of the best shooters in the country, especially from deep, um, is uh, yeah. moving forward for me. Finishing, I had J.C. Sheldon. If you combine Angel's athletic profile and length with J.C.'s finishing package, I don't think you're stopping that. Yeah, that is a, a difficult player to stop. Uh, my movement shooting, my spot-up shooting, off-screen shooting, I'm taking Sarah Scally at Indiana. Um She's not as high profile as some of these other players, but she's been one of the best shooters in the country since her sophomore season at Minnesota a couple of years ago. Um, you have to guard her from the logo. She shot uh, 43% on just under eight attempts per game this year. Her second season, um, over 40% on seven and a half attempts from three or more, which is just a really – a really fun uh, statistical profile. We haven't talked about her as much as a prospect because uh, the rest of the pieces of her game are not quite there. She's kind of like uh, Taylor Robertson from last year at Oklahoma, who's just one of the – Taylor Robertson is the most prolific three-point scorer at the college level in the history of basketball. Um, but that's that's kind of the, the profile of Sarah Scalia. My finishing, I took uh, Aaliyah Edwards at UConn. She's so strong and so smart about finding angles and getting to the spots that she needs to under the rim. Uh, Really good interior movement and just a a high-level scoring process for her. Yeah, for me, perimeter defense, I have Nadia Pooch out of Australia. She's not the typical, like, guard defender. I I could have taken Charisma Osborne, but I was like, Poach is one of the most elite movers at her size, so combining that with someone of Angel's Angel's size as well kind of fits for me. And then interior defense, um, you took my pick here, so I took Camila Cardoso. I think really good timing. She's also just has improved with her fouling as well, so I think this is kind of the obvious pick for me here. Yeah, my um, 
My pick for my perimeter defense was Celeste Taylor at Ohio State, formerly at Duke, formerly at Texas, uh, who is just an absolute menace on the ball, off the ball. She's strong enough to hang with bigger players. She's quick enough to hang with guards. Uh, she's just going to be in your jersey for 40 minutes a night. She's going to run up and down the court. She's got a great motor. She's just going to hound you, harangue you on defense. Uh, and, yeah, my – Obvious pick for interior defense was Cam Brink, who had seven blocks last night uh, against North Carolina State. She is, to me, honestly underrated. Her her defensive abilities are not given enough credit by people on the talk about women's basketball a lot. Um, Cameron Brink is, to me, the best rim protector. She's had the highest block rate of any interior defender over the last two seasons. She blocks over three shots a game. Her rim deterrence is obvious from the on-off numbers. Um, opposing teams score 10 points less per 100 possessions. When she, or I think it's actually more than that. But opposing teams score significantly less when Cam is on the court. They shoot at the rim less. They shoot a worse percentage at the rim. They shoot a lot of these paint twos that are not at the rim, and they shoot a dismal percentage on them. Cameron Brink is... She's 6'4 with long arms. She's just an absolute menace defensively. The fouls are problematic and could keep her from becoming, you know, a 35 minutes a night every day Mm -hmm. kind of player at the WNBA level, at at least in the early days. But she's just an absolutely terrifying interior defender. Yeah, to recap, for my athletic profile and size, I have Angel Reese. Passing and feel, I have Carla Leite. Pull-up shooting, Caitlin Clark. Off-ball shooting, all that kind of stuff. Hannah Jump. Finishing, J.C. Sheldon. Perimeter defense, Nadia Butch. And interior defense, I have Camila Cardoso. Yeah, and mine is um, the size physical tools of Layla Khan. The passing of Charlize Ledger-Walker. Pull-up shooting of Georgia Amor. Off-ball shooting of Sarah Scalia. The finishing of Aaliyah Edwards. Perimeter defense of Celeste Taylor. And interior defense of Cameron Brink. Both... 80 grade prospects. Those are 80. Yeah, 80, those, they're, 90 they're grade? getting drafted number one. Getting drafted number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for me, Not so much basketball. Your first listen every day. Join the team at the next bat next week for continued coverage of women's college basketball. Hopefully, we'll have a decision from a Georgia Amor decision so we can talk about her, her prospects, along with Nika Mule. But make your second listen locked on sports today, the first ever national sports. 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone.